Hey guys, good morning. It's Aaron again with the short video. I just got another pair of boots and uh, well, good morning. <laughs> Today's Saturday, 6.40 a.m. There's no traffic right now in LA, not at this time, <laughs> not on Saturday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me tell you guys something something i wouldn't say bad that happened to me but something before i show you uh the boots thank you guys for watching if you like the video please consider subscribing to the channel and as you can see i am driving so that's why i'm not looking at the camera well even though it's saturday and it's early in the morning see i mean the traffic is okay right now but free was not that empty <laughs> even though it's saturday well a lot of people work on saturday too so that's why mm -hmm. yeah that is downtown la i live pretty close from downtown la unfortunately i forgot my microphone guys so if you guys cannot hear me well it's because of that i'm sorry You know, as always, every time I get a pair of boots, I like to share with you guys. These were actually the first pairs of boots I got from Red Wing. My very first pair, my very first pair of Red Wing boots, the 8138s. But those boots were damaged, so I ended up returning them, and I could never get it back. I ended up getting my Iron Rangers 4606 and after two years, maybe a little bit more than two years, I got it back, they decided to buy them again. So I really like those to be honest, since they were my, my very first pair. So I wanted to have them back. ¿Qué tal a todos? Buenos días. Aquí estamos nuevamente con otro video. Sabadito vamos a trabajar. Se me olvidó mi micrófono, si no me escuchan muy bien. Es por eso, lo siento mucho. Miren los trailers cómo se meten a los onzo nada más, pero bueno. Uh, acabo de comprar otro parcillo de botas. Y esas botas en realidad o ese modelo fue el primer par de botas que compré cuando decidí comprar unas botas Red Wing. Maldita la hora. <risa> eh, ya, me, me, me caí en el vicio. <risa> Saludos para Silver de Canadá. Estaba ahí comentando que se va a comprar unas JK. Boots. A ver qué tal le salen. Ahí nos platica es este, este Silver Silver Falcon de Canadá. Saludos para todos, de verdad. Saludos. Saludos para Félix España. Félix España. Félix España. Se me trabó la lengua. Yeah. Eh, bueno, pasaron un poquito más de dos años. Esas botas, les digo, fueron las primeras que compré. Las tuve que regresar porque me salieron defectuosas. Y ahí donde las compré, no fue justo antes de que empezara la pandemia, ya estaban empezando a faltar las botas y no me las pudieron reponer y pasó como un mes. Le digo, ¿sabes qué? Mejor, mejor dame otras porque yo ya, yo ya quería mis botas, ya las estaba moldando y todo y las iba a tener que regresar. Entonces, agarré otras, fue cuando agarré mis primeras Iron Ranger. Pero siempre me gustaron esas botas, pero empecé a comprar otros estilos ya las han visto y ayer fui a visitar a un amigo que tiene una tienda de botas y le dije sabes que voy a llevar mesas porque las quiero tener de vuelta otra vez <risa> así es pero bueno ahorita más adelante se las enseño vamos a pasar por un menudito hoy hoy los que son los que son latinos que conocen el menudo es un menudo para antes de para bueno para almorzar más bien y ahí les enseño este les enseño las botas y les platico algo algo que me pasó, como me robaron, ¿sale? Vámonos duro, pues. My shoe shop is pretty close from Montebello. I'm actually right in the middle of East LA. Uh, Montebello and City of Commerce. Now, before anything, let's buy some menudo.
All right, guys, I'm at this, here at the shop having some coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee time. Oh, by the, oh, by the way, I drink coffee, but it has, it has to be decaffeinated all the time. Okay. About three months ago, I worked on a pair of engineer boots for a certain guy, a young guy. I'm not gonna say names. This guy, this guy works, uh, works or worked, I don't know if he's working there or not, not anymore, uh, at a Red Wing store. And uh, that's actually how I met him. He came to the shop. I worked on a pair of engineer boots from him. And he told me that he could get me a pair of boots. Even if they don't have them in the store, they can get it from, from another place, from another state or another store. Uh, and that's how I got my 8883 Concrete Rough and Tough with him so the transaction was nice and smooth and everything was okay and he told me hey, if you ever need another pair of boots just let me know if I don't have them in the store I can get it from from another store from another state for you I was like thank you man <laughs> so about a month ago I contacted him via Instagram and I told him hey man by any chance you guys have these uh, blacksmith 3340 and he's like, no, we don't, but uh, I can get it from you, from a store in Arizona. They'll, they, uh, they'll be here within one week. I was like, okay, no rush. Yeah, I want them. Size 10, please. And he asked me for the money. And I was like, yeah, why not? So I, I sent him the money via Zelle. And it's been a month. And I never heard from him. Man, first of all, I hope the guy's okay. Nothing bad happened to him. But I mean, I was like, seriously, dude? Oh my goodness. He even closed his Instagram account. So there's no way I can contact him anymore. That happened to me, guys. That's what happened to me. But anyway, anyway, did I learn my lesson? Maybe not, because I, I still trust people. I still trust people. I mean, anyway, and I got so mad, so mad that I got another pair of boots. <laughs> Let's take a look at the boots. Here they are. This is how mad I got. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, again, I hope the guy is okay. Nothing bad happened to him, but I mean, that sucks guys, that sucks. Anyway, yesterday I went to visit my friend. He owns a World Boots store in LA. So I visited him yesterday and uh, I noticed that he had these boots. <laughs> and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm taking them. These are pretty much the 8138 Briar Oil Slick. Briar oil slick. Now, let me tell you something. Another thing that happened to me <laughs> about three weeks ago, uh, I decided to buy another pair of factory second boots from this place, the same place I got the uh, Wolverines from. It's called Sierra, and uh, they had these boots, and I bought them. I paid like hundred and ninety dollars with taxes, shipping, and everything, and. Uh, I even record a video on those boots to share with you guys. So everything was good. I got surprised because I was like, whoa, these are factory seconds and they look even better than first. <laughs> everything was perfect. But when I tried the boots on, one of the foot one of the footbed was cut by half. I was like, what? <laughs> but anyway, I had to return it because I was like, hey, I'm not gonna replace the footbed, remove the soles and everything. I can do it, but uh, what is the point of me paying $200 if I'm gonna do a job that costs like $300 I was like nah no 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 so I returned them I returned I got my money back no issues with that with that um, website Sierra they have a lot of factory second sales sometimes sometimes so uh, anyway so that was my I was gonna say my first and last but that was my second and last time I buy factory second boot without having the chance to inspect them in person no more for me no more factory seconds well anyway that's funny because look at this well 
my goodness. I, I told my friend last night, you know what? This should be factory seconds just because of that. <laughs> anyway, because I have seen better. I show you guys my my Beckmans, the, the black cherry I got about, about about a week ago. And they are factory seconds. I didn't know that. And they, they are just perfect. Well, anyway, guys, these are my 8138 Briar Oil Sleek. I love them, but not the white sole. So I'm going to do a different, different result. Probably wear them one or two two times and then I'm gonna do a result totally different result okay anyway thank you guys for watching if you like the video please consider subscribing to the channel if you have any questions please email me to revive sure repair at gmail.com and well what do you think about these babies score another pair by the way a new video is coming up. I am working on a pair of Alden Indie boots. And uh, yeah, that's going to be next week. And th that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Eh, conocí a una persona al cual le arreglé unas botas hace unos tres meses. Que, que trabaja o trabajaba, no sé si trabaja más, en una tienda Redwing. No voy a decir nombres ni dónde trabaja ni nada. Solo les voy a platicar lo que me pasó. Le arreglé unas botas a él, las arreglé y me comentó que trabajaba en la tienda y le dije, oh, ¿sabes qué? Quiero unas botas así, así. Entonces dice, pues no hay. Y lo que tiene Redwin es que si usted va a una tienda a buscar ciertas botas y no las tienen, ellos se las consiguen de otra tienda o de, o de otro estado de donde se las tengan que mandar, se las mandan. Y sí, me, 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 me consiguió mis botas, mis 88, 83, las Concrete Rough and Tough, o col color concreto. Y pues todo bien, todo bien Y quedamos, eh, y cuando quieras yo te consigo Algunas botas, si no hay, pues te las traigo De otro lado, perfecto Entonces quería comprar yo unas Black Me Blacksmith 3340 Y lo contacté y todo Y sí, sí, sabes qué, las tienen en Arizona Y te las van a mandar Y bla, bla, bla este, Pero pues mándame el dinero, ¿no? Para, para yo pagarlas Y yo dije, pues sí, pues por qué no, ¿verdad? Yo soy el que las va a comprar Como por qué las va a pagar él de su dinero Vamos, yo bien confiadote, ¿no? Dije, pues ya lo conocí, ya hice trato con él y todo bien, perfecto. El chiste es que pasó, pasó ya un mes y no sé nada del, del cuate este. Ni me contesta, cerró su cuenta de Instagram ya. Y nada, o sea, me robó mi dinero. Así de sencillito. Espero que no le haya pasado nada malo al muchachón. Pero pues qué, qué, qué tristeza que veamos personas así jóvenes, tendrán unos 20, 22 años, haciendo ese tipo de, con ese tipo de actitudes robando unos miserables dólares pero bueno y estaba yo este, bromeando verdad que me dio tanto coraje pero tanto coraje que me compré estas botas <ríe> no pues es una lástima sabemos que hay gente así no pero como sea pero bueno aquí están aquí están las botas que las compré como decía son las primeras botas que compré cuando decidí empezar a comprar botas maldita la hora <ríe> este pues nada todo, todo bien todo bien unos 81 38 cuero aceitado muy bien Gruesecito, muy duras por, por lo cierto Me recuerdo cuando compré estas botas Son de las más duras para moldar Debido a que el cuero es bien duro Pero una vez amoldadas es uno de los cueros más resistentes Debido a la, al cúmulo de aceite Con el que está teñido y tratado Y ahí está Pero le vamos a cambiar las suelas, no me gustó mucho Pues bueno, muchas gracias, de verdad les doy por, por todo Nos vemos en el próximo video Ya viene ahí el video, estoy trabajando en él Estoy trabajando en unas Alden Indie Y este... Pues nada, muchas gracias y que tengan un feliz día. Hasta luego, saludos para todos los suscriptores que me apoyan.